Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of uh, whatever it is we're doing here. Uh, I just got back from uh, three, well more like four days, camping on the North York Moors and it rained everywhere. So I was stuck in a tent and it was freezing cold and so I use my Kelly kettle as my tent heater and the way I do that is I fill it full of water, bring it to the boil, then I switch out the burner for four tea light candles and I use those tea light candles to, to keep the water warm and it heats the tent. And it does a fantastic job but I, go, I burn through tea light candles like it's going out of fashion. I mean, I buy them in packs of 25 and if I kept the heater going all day, I would burn through that pack of 25 in a day. If you figure that one tea light candle lasts about four hours. So I'll be basically burning one tea light candle an hour. So what I'm thinking of doing is making an everlasting candle out of lard. How Yorkshire is that? I'm on the way down to the supermarket to uh, buy a some kind of, see if I can find a tin, like a, a, a candy tin, or something that's the right size, that I can melt lard into. And uh, I'm gonna buy some cheap candles and use those candle wicks inside the actual, you know, so I'm gonna chop the candles in half and have like four wicks in that one big lard candle. And I think that might be a cost-effective way to heat the tent. And I'm, I'm back on the bike tomorrow I'm going to attempt to shoot what I didn't shoot last week because of the weather. So I'll get a chance to test it out right, right quick. Right then, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to melt. This is the tin I'm going to make. It's an old Harrogate toffee tin. Um, I'm going to make the candle in this. Quite a cool tin, actually. So, what, do we do? what I'm going to do is cut these candles down to that kind of thickness. Put one in each corner, melt down some lard, lard, melt down some lard and, and fill, fill in around the candles with lard. So it's basically it's a big lard candle with a wax wrapped wick. That's how fancy I'm being. So let's uh, get this started. So what do you think? How much lard to fit in there? I'm going to go with half a block to start with, just eyeballing it. Kind of interesting to see how this will turn out, to be honest. Half a block. Delicious. Right then. Now, the trick is going to be cutting the candles to fit them perfectly inside the box. This is where it takes a bit of, it takes a bit of, uh, it's gonna take a bit of skill and nous to figure this out. Now then. Now, should I cut off just the top ends, stick those in there, or should I use two candles to cut off the top and the bottom ends? That's a good question. Hmm. Let's 
see if I can uh, save a bit of money. I only use two of these candles. So. The old rule of thumb. So I'm measuring it like that. Focus, you swine, focus. Now then, 25 years of carpenter. Should be able to cut these pretty straight, right? You'd think. Actually, I brought, that's what I brought this for. This is a blunt um, junior hacksaw that I wore out on a bike lock when I accidentally, uh, I didn't accidentally, I locked my bike outside Aldi's. It was Christmas Eve, actually. And, uh, And um, do one at a time. There we go. Stands up kind of straight. It's big enough, I suppose. That's a little poor step, that, to be honest. Looks like we might be in business, boys. Maybe not. Bloody hell. Candles to be appropriately spaced so that when they're inside my Kelly kettle, they actually hit the walls. So imagine my, if you imagine if you imagine my Kelly kettle sitting on top of this, I want the flames to be hitting the walls, not just going up through the flue in the middle. It needs to be hitting the walls, so they need to be right in the edges. like see I can't fill it up too much because if I hit that hinge I've got maybe an eighth of an inch below that hinge but if the if the if the lard goes above that obviously it's gonna leak out so I want to hit just below that hinge that should be Cock on, right there. Which is a bit disappointing actually, because I was hoping it might be you get more lard in. Because <laughs> I've always, I always want to get more lard in. You know what I mean? This is a, another option. This tin that I had lying around. I think it was biscuits. It's a bit bigger. And if I stuck four candles in there. 
I'll have to cut it flat so it sat nicely. And be like two or three blocks of lard. But this would last forever. I think I'll give this one a go. And this, if this works, I'll go with this one. And um, so I could use I could use this to try out the concept. And if it works really well this weekend, or this next four or five days, um, I'll come back and make this one. Um, and in the in the summer when I won't use it, I could use it for putting something else in. Um, I don't know what. It says this contained hot chilies, but best before 2013. I have no idea what was in here. But, um, I could put useful things in there. Tinder, maybe, for fires. This could be my Tinder box. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, see that button down there in the bottom corner? You hit that, you automatically subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything, it's free, and it means that every time I post a video, you will get notice of it. <laughs> Oh,